Hey, what's up? We got the tournament edition of Southeast Tennessee Prep Hoops podcast. And I am joined by Coach Slater Ballou and the Silverdale Seahawks, three of them. We got Brett Wright, Kennedy Akpara, and Houston Holland. What's up, guys? Uh, what's happened? Man, what hey, a coach, run. Coach, thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate it, Coach. Appreciate it. What a run you guys have had. What's the record now? 30 and 3. Yeah, I won 30 yeah. games. 30 and 3, yeah. 30 and 3, yeah. Yeah, you can't fake 30. <laughs> no, you can't. Numbers don't lie. So, yep. uh, district champs, region champs, then you then you beat Webb Bell Buckle at home. How, how'd that feel? Start with you, Brett. Uh, I mean, it felt pretty good. I mean, it's the first time it's been done in school history. So, yeah. I mean, just making history is, is good anyway. So, I enjoyed it. Yeah, Kennedy, you've been really stepping up lately. Um, what's what's gotten into you uh, since last year? <laughs> just I was trying to improve, you know, trying to improve and take a big role to help our team like this season, you know. So you just try to like be mature in my game, step my game up to the next level for college next year. So I just try to emulate like all the stuff I do in the summer, doing all the workout with my brother or my big brother. Mm-hmm. My my family too is supporting me, you know, working hard with me. So you just I try to just show up on the court. You know I'm a big Buckeye fan. I don't know if you knew that. I'm from Ohio. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I oh I love it. <laughs> Houston, so. when I watch you guys play Houston, uh especially this year, and I remember when you were a freshman, like oh, yeah. you would be a little shaky at times. And it seems like this year you are the glue and you are just constant all the time what what are you trying to bring to the table every night yeah I just try to be consistent and um keep that ball just in our hands not try to make too many turnovers be uh decisive with the ball and just try to be an all-around guy and do whatever I need to do to help the team win well, you do that. Hey, and hey, guys, I'm in just, glass. I'm late to the party here, Josh. Who won the national championship in football this year? Who was that that got that? What was uh? I don't even remember. Was that uh? I didn't watch. Did you? Don't you better not say the word. The um. Uh, did they? they did the Kennedy, Kennedy's, did Kennedy's like it's going yeah. over Kennedy's head right now. Kennedy, no, uh, no. we don't like no, Michigan. Did uh? You think they should have? Been bad. I mean, because they they're thieves, right, Josh? Is that your opinion? Yeah. Take people yeah, never. Jim yeah. Harbaugh yeah. knew the investigation was coming, so he got out of town. <laughs> Is that what happened? <laughs> it's exactly yeah. what happened. Oh, yeah. Hey, so guys, welcome. I'm sorry I'm late. I was doing a little clinic. Got a little, getting a little traffic. Um, hey, uh, so y'all don't know this, but my stepsons play for Walker Valley, hmm. so the twins, and they're actually so will the coaches their dad and I'm their stepdad. So uh anyway, and and I'm a Boyd graduate. So mm. it's like a you know I mean circle. it's we're talking about the Silverdale Seahawks and having a great time. And here you come in late to the party wanting to talk about yourself. Well <laughs> jo- hey you guys will wait a second. Josh will start comparing your game to his and <laughs> whatever uh, man like what he used to do and stuff. But guys like so so my stepson Graham Campbell is one of my Graham and Tucker Campbell. And so Graham, who who does y'all's Instagram that trolling Instagram stuff? The Seahawk Mafia. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is Coach so Slater, man. That stuff was like so uh <laughs> pretty brutal. Did I send it to you, Josh? So Graham, they what did they say? They said if uh if if Graham was the shooter for Kennedy, like he they showed a picture of him being like 80 or 90 years old. Isn't it <laughs> great? I mean, it was incredible. My wife wasn't happy, but I, I laughed so hard. And he got in the gym, Coach Slater. Like he's shooting it well now, man. Like he's like really like he spent like hours and you know, get ready. So it like turned his season around. So tell the <laughs> Silverdale Mafia, thank you for <laughs> uh, that picture of when you dunk it all that guy brett did you see that one josh oh my god Where i don't know if i saw that oh golly i don't know how y'all who was it, it against was it a walk against walker valley it's just walker valley he was dunking on the center yeah. for, uh, I remember it. And so they showed this picture man i mean who does that that whoever's i'm not saying it's appropriate or anything but they're very talented they're very talented <laughs> 
Yeah, I, Josh, I, I try to stay out of it just so I don't even know who who is running it. Yeah. So I have no idea. Um, that, that, they probably know, but I don't know if we'll share. You got to <laughs> have a don't ask policy. That is probably a very wise there. decision, exactly. Coach, yeah. for you to to stay out of that. That's called the Rick Patino. Yeah. The Rick Patino <laughs> policy. Whatever my assistants I mean, are doing, it's not me. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to hear y'all's perspective of the Silverdale boy rivalry. I mean, it's just such a Christ yeah. rivalry on, on every, in every aspect. Amen. Oh, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry to hijack this whole thing, guys. I apologize. So you totally did. Back. We were talking about Houston Holland's <laughs> offensive rebounding and Kennedy's like all of a sudden became a three point weapon and, you know, Brett doing Brett things, Brett, I do have to. Are you okay with me telling the sixth grade story on this podcast? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. All right. So, Brett in the sixth grade, we have a really talented group of sixth graders who are playing an AU tournament. And Brett's like super competitive. That was his main problem. He would he would get mad and he he would get mad at himself only. That was it. Oh, yeah. He got so mad, and he literally takes his glasses off. Now these weren't goggles. These are like Ray-Bans. Like he's got like <laughs> real glasses on, takes his glasses off and just throws them toward the bench. And they're coming right at my head. Like, oh my God. <laughs> like, get out of the way. And Brett's like, Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It was so funny. Anyways, it was, it was a good I'll day. Tell you what, Coach, it, cause I mean, Trevecca, what a couple of steals that they got in, Jack Abernathy and and Brett Wright. I mean, that's incredible. incredible. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, I, I've actually gotten to um get to know Coach Carroll through Brett's recruitment, and um, he's done a really good job of of getting high caliber players, especially from the Chattanooga area. I mean, yeah. Jack's Jack's is an incredible player. Um, pretty much three way player. I mean, his pull up game is three, and then finishing around the rim, and then. Um, you, you add Brett to that piece. Um, that's that's a pretty good, pretty good recruiting class. And then you add the Pope John Paul kid too. Um, I mean, yeah, they're, they're they're just going to get keep on getting better and better. Yeah, he's he's pretty talented too. You better not play zone against him, dudes. Yeah. <laughs> the fights will be out. <laughs> that's going to be something, man. Alive. I mean, you know, I knew Kevin when he was at BMI, but I, I mean, it's crazy, Coach. Be uh, Brett and uh, and Jacks both. 10 years ago, there's no way they're division two players. There's just no way. And, uh, you know, and I know you guys probably had some late interest from division one. So it's just interesting how the whole landscapes change, you know, with the transfer portal and everything. So, you know, uh, and now the transfer portal, like it makes it even more important to go one level low, lower than where you could possibly go. Because when you do that, you're playing right away. You got you have a really good chance to have a good career. And then you can transfer, too, if you want to live the D1 dream. It's like kind of makes it easy for players. And, Brett, you know, your travel is going to be a lot better, too, getting in the goal south and people play around here a lot more, you know, yeah. leave me shorter, everybody else. And I didn't know they were joining the goal south. They are, yeah. Josh. They are. Yeah. Yep. So, well, uh, Slater, tell us about these guys and what they meant to your program. Coach Slater, I first of all would like to congratulate you on an incredible season, and I'm sorry I hijacked this. Uh, <laughs> so please go forward. Yeah, uh, thank you, thank you for having us. Um, I, I, I'm, I mean, I can't really put it into words um, what type of season this is, and hopefully we have two more wins under our belt. But um, just the hard work that these guys have put in, um, e- e- even the guys that aren't on this call. Um, it, it's taken all 20 of us um, to get where we are. Um, I was thinking about it before I, I hopped on this Zoom Zoom call um, about what, what got us to where we are. And I think um, last year was, was a contributing factor. Um, just – the times that we got beat by Notre Dame on a buzzer beater by Cole McCormick, mm-hmm. the, the, the battles with Boyd, um, the, the um, playing Lakeway up at Lakeway, uh, just um, constant, constant battles every single night um, prepared these guys to get to, to get to where they are. Um, then, then I knew that we were going to have a core nucleus coming back um, from last year. So I beefed up our, um, our summer schedule a little bit. Uh, went to BCAT, um, went to uh, Coach Shulman's camp down at UAH, played some top Alabama schools down there, went to UTC, played uh, uh, Pope John Paul there, um, played 
played some other schools that, that, that really gave us a gauge on where we thought we were at, um, which was thing we could, we could have a pretty good season. Um, and then once season started, um, these guys just continued to buy into what we were saying. We changed some things up, practice habits, um, I'm a little high, high, um, higher energy, um, demanded more from practice um, that, that translated. I mean, thinking back through the season, uh, we, we faced adversity through the whole season. Um, I, I mean, we, we hosted a Thanksgiving tournament with probably some top tier caliber teams, um, two that are still playing right now. Um, and we won the thing and we won it with guys being sick. Um, so, Actually, so a coach, limited bench. There's three teams still playing because Bradley, Walker Valley, and Chat Prep are all still. Walker, yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yes that's correct. Um, yeah. yeah, so three teams still playing, um, three that could make a deep run. Um, and um, just like if you would have told me last year that we'd be 30 and three going to the final four, I'd, I'd probably call you crazy um, just because we've never done it before. Um, but for the first time um, th this off season, like we've had basketball players, which makes a huge difference. Um, you, like you guys know, like we, we have football players that play basketball. Mm -hmm. We have baseball players that play basketball, but we got some dudes this year. Yeah. And um, some of those dudes are on this call. I mean, yeah. like, like, like these three live and breathe basketball they work on it during the off season. They work on it during the summer. They play AAU. I mean, that makes a difference. Um, it, you don't it have anybody this difference. year that you don't have to guard. Correct. Yeah, Correct. everybody. Everybody's threatened. That's what makes it. And, and what what's hard about that is your, you know, you three guys on this call too, and Elijah and Judah, and they're all good passers. Like yeah. that's what makes it tough when you spread the floor with the <laughs> shooting, and and then you got guys that can really pass the ball. So. Yeah, Kennedy, absolutely. can you? Kennedy, can you comment on how much better Boy Buchanan was coached this year than the last couple of years? Don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> so, who, 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 let's see, uh, ECS, there, who else is in the final four? Of so, it's, so, it's ECS, um, Fax, Providence Christian, and us. So, you know, one thing I, I watched, um, now, granted, I was driving. I watched the district championship against Boyd, and then I watched the region champ. I felt like y'all played so much better in the region. I mean, you guys just stepped it up like crazy. I mean, even the – I mean, y'all beat Notre Dame bad in the region, correct? And then you beat Boyd pretty good. I mean, so something happened there. I missed the last two games. I thought at the beginning of the year that I was like – I, I watched one of the Boyd games. I watched that tournament. Y'all played pretty well. But I still like – they're not playing their best ball, and, and then – here recently it's like y'all feel like it's clicking pretty good brett oh yeah definitely i mean oh, we've just been moving the ball playing like great defense like we've been really locking down i mean you're holding teams like 40 points i mean yeah. you can't win yeah, there, was, there was a coach Slade, there was a definite difference in the defense uh in that region tournament it sure seemed to me you know? yeah we, we we focused a lot um on uh the defensive effort scouting reports and all that but it's crazy like thinking back through the season and, and I know the the record doesn't show or, or or didn't show prior to district tournament um because we only had a few losses but like I, I still felt like we weren't playing our best basketball I like agree Josh with was you. Saying. like yeah. like like I knew like I knew what was in us um and, and I knew we weren't there yet most people would have thought that we peaked early because we went on like a I don't know 19 19 0 run uh, um game wise but but like like these guys can probably attest, like, like I, I came in the locker room angry just because I knew how we should be playing and, and, and we weren't living up to it, which was frustrating then. But looking back now, I'm like, man, we're peaking at the right time. I mean, like, yeah. like that's what you want in a team. You had a couple of those wake up call games too, where it was like, dudes. Correct. Like, did you, did you lose to Bradley at home or at Bradley? I know you beat him in the and you lost him to him at home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we lost. Uh, so our three losses were at home. Um, wow. Lost wow. to uh, Bradley um, right after Christmas break, lost to Boyd at home, um, and then lost to S Signal on senior night at home. Wow. Oh, I hate those senior. I hate those senior night games. <laughs> those senior night games where it's like, it's all so weird. 
Y'all beat y'all beat Walker Valley to sleep up here though. So that was uh that's tough to do up at up at the valley. Yeah. Yeah, we 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 get knew those we... get those Bradley County officials up here. It's hard <laughs> to come up here. Oh, trust me, we got some texts from it. So um we know <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, that is right. That is I remember that is right. So oh man. So Houston, are you a senior? Yes, sir. And Kennedy, you're a junior. Yes, sir. Is that right? Yes, sir. Awesome. So well, how do we feel about Webb Bellbuckle? I know y'all played him. I mean, uh, FACS. I'm sorry. Um, Being video. Oh, yeah, we would we watch film. Um, we locked in. We went over like we mainly we went over mainly defense today. So we uh, we just got to just play good defense, communicate, uh, lock in what our coach says, and just hope that's the best for us. You know, coming in on Friday. So yeah, we we locked in. It's internet right. interesting that it's a week earlier than you know the other. Like you start that tournament so early, your district and region. It's fascinating. I um, hate it. Yeah. Basketball season should be longer. <laughs> be this is the longest we've ever been. So uh, I yeah, say it should be longer. It's my 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 first year not coaching, so <laughs> I'm saying it should. But when I'm coaching, I'm like, man, I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 Josh, to go to your que your question. Um, Fax is talented. They're they're typical Memphis team. They're athletic. Um, aren't super sized, but man, those guys can move, dribble, um, get to the paint, uh, finish. Um, so we're 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 up for the challenge though. Yeah. When is uh so it's at Lipscomb, correct? They it's at play? Tennessee Tech. Oh, they moved it to Tennessee Tech. Yeah, I think public school is at MTSU, if I remember correctly. Josh, wasn't it? It used to be at Lipscomb, didn't they have the? Uh... It was at Lipscomb of the COVID year. They started, they moved it to Tech, and then they haven't moved it back since. I love that gym. That was the last. My last high school game was played in that gym. I told you, Brett. Here we go. Here we go. Last high school. <laughs> hey, where did? Hey, do y'all know where Josh went to high school? You have Man. Brett you know this? Temple. Temple. Yeah. Yeah. Temple. Temple. Yeah. Coach Slater, where is that located anymore? Is it? <laughs> is it? Is it? it Change the name to Chat Prep. Like, Change the there? name to Chat Prep. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all had some great wins. Every time. Every time. Well, you're the one who brought up it's your last game you played. No, here. the last game I played in was at Tennessee Tech. I do love that gym. It is. Yeah. It's fun to play in. It's a, how do you how do you guys prepare for playing in the bigger gym? I mean, is there anything you can do the bigger arena? You know, gotta have an open facility a little bit, so that helps you. I would think. Yeah, yeah, we actually worked it out with UTC. We practiced there on Tuesday, um, and then we we're, we're going to go practice again on uh, tomorrow before we leave up to Cookville, um, just to get a feel for the for the different backdrop, um, the arena, the bright lights, um, sort of take away that awe factor um like when you first get there um and I mean, I mean these guys can attest to it um when we first got to utc it was like dang this is sweet um and so so hopefully it took away that factor um to where we can just go play would it feel like an aau tournament <laughs> all the freestanding goals yeah. everywhere in a convention center <laughs> yeah well <laughs> The main thing I would tell you guys is to enjoy it, even you, Coach. I mean, you just enjoy the moment, enjoy being there, and, you know, stay in the moment. And it's not life or death. Have a good time with it. And you you guys will be great, I'm sure. There's no doubt. So um, We're pulling hey, for you. I know, which is kind of hard for me, but I am really <laughs> pulling for you, to be honest with you. like It's I mean, not hard for me. We did battles. It's like that worthy <laughs> opponent thing, you know. We, hey, used to, we all used to battle. So Too you know, Walker, battles. so Walker Valley's playing in the Silverdale tournament. So my wife comes home with like six of those green cups, you know, silver <laughs> cups, big S on them. And so I was like, "Honey, I can't drink out of this. What are we doing here?" So Grundy, y'all, y'all should hear about Grundy if you don't know about Grundy. Grundy, my pit bull, he he gets a hold of them and just rips them all apart. So anyway, I thought that was <laughs> thanks, thanks, Grundy. <laughs> <laughs> i really i'm just i really have enjoyed watching you guys play over the last two or three years and yeah bring it home man you know coach we have not had a state champion since 2008 i'm sure you know that mm. so isn't that incredible that is um that's that's sort of hard to believe with some of the talent that's come through um but, but hopefully hopefully we can do it this year yeah we got and some talent wearing green baby so let's go that's right that's and right. the school that won it 
is no longer in existence. It is Josh Templeton's alma mater in 2008. See, all that hate. Oh, play. All that hate. Bring, it, bring it back to Tennessee Temple. There you go. <laughs> half, half people from Silverdale's parents are from Tennessee Temple anyway. So. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Good deal. Well, Josh, give us one last question for these guys. I'm I'm excited about it. when when do we play again? Can we watch it? I know TWSAA is probably in FHS. In uh, FHS, is it on? Mm-hmm. You got that subscription? Yeah, it's at five central, um, six eastern, um, and then I think probably some local channels might have it. Um, not really sure. Yeah, I know they'll have the championship game for sure. So mm-hmm. we got to make that. And uh, that's right. I imagine there'll be a ton of green up there, guys. Do you think we're gonna? How many? How many people are going up there? You think? We got a lot of them supporters. <laughs> are you gonna take a take a couple take a bus or two? Yeah, they're they're oh. they're packing out a pet bus. So oh, uh, sure, they're 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 shutting down high school at two on Friday. Oh man, um, that's fun students stuff. students got to sign up for a, a bus ride. Um, of course, their 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 um, admissions cost is waived by the school, so uh, and we're trying to fill tech up with with some green and gold. I bet you'll have. A- I'm almost as happy for you guys as I am jealous. Almost, <laughs> not quite. <laughs> yeah, I'm I am happy and uh, get that uh, Silverdale Mafia on those the other team, man. Figure out some stuff. Yeah, they need to they need to get the scouting report. <laughs> exactly. That I bet those guys are good at the. Uh, in the stands so oh man well gentlemen good luck to you uh tell uh is uh taylor uh, taylor's let hasty's letting everybody out of school so that's good that's, that's good. right good for him and i'm glad you know i'm sick of silverdale baseball anyway aren't you josh i'm glad the basketball team is bringing it home yeah yeah that, i don't know comment I, on that i don't know i i mean silverdale baseball might be just fine i'm, I'm not not really aware of them <laughs> <laughs> when i go to the baseball games i just do the playlist and eat seeds and watch our guys i don't know enough about it to totally watch kidding on silverdale baseball guys i really i have no problem with i love taylor hasty he's a good dude and good program so anyway hey, chattanooga area is proud of you now we're all one team right so we appreciate you guys See you hey, good luck. we'll be keeping up with you take care thank you for having us thank you for having us Josh, next up we got Coach Nick. Where Biden is he? Red Bank. He is coming on right here. See you guys. Thanks, Coach Slater. Good luck. Seriously, guys. Thank I'm you. Proud of you. There he is. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, there he is. I don't see him. I don't see the beard. Oh, there he is, man. You look at that. Yeah, there you go. Just look for the beard, I guess. Dude, it's looking good as ever. <laughs> so we got. We need to get, we need to get Nick Gar- Sir Gary Long on here too. Do what? <laughs> We need to get Sir Gary Long and Antoine on here too. Oh yeah, they'd yeah. be good to have on here. We had uh we had who'd we have? We had Bonner on here, right? Yeah. I think yeah. Kendrick too. Bonner's a, a kid of very few words though. Uh, <laughs> he don't he don't really like speaking very much. Great kid. Just he just likes to kind of keep to himself. Wow. Nick, well, man. He is an amazing kid. Well, Coach Fike, we're proud of you, brother. We're glad you got over that big hump, man. Region semis. Oh, yeah, that. that's that's kind of been a crutch. That I mean, I I know I'm I guess nine years. So we've we've made it to that point. I think wow. eight, six or eight of the nine years, and man, it's it it's a relief to get over that hump. Um, especially with this group, man. This group, yeah. this group's different. Yeah, they really are, man. And we're proud of you guys. And uh, I was watching. I was at my kids' game. Walker Valley was playing, and I was looking at Patrick McCoon had updates on you guys like crazy, and saw where that he showed the clip of that kid sending it to overtime i'm like oh my goodness man come on yeah you can't lose this i uh yeah and then i you know i kind of got on I, I didn't get onto it but afterwards i'm like Ant and jay i mean you guys jay you had a layup to win it in regulation and Ant, you had a putback you're just trying to add to the drama i mean come on <laughs> um, hey i showed y'all that clip though of you know when uh the team sit, takes it to overtime yeah. i'm glad i did so I no, did I, five keys to the tournament run, Josh, with them. And one of the things is like, you know, a team that hits a shot to send it to overtime, yeah, eighty percent of the time wins. And I was talking about that. I was like, why does that happen? Because you allow it to happen. So they got a special group of guys, man. I'm so proud of them. And their uh, composure down the stretch was really, and and you know, obviously I've got to keep mine, but uh, I don't. Their composure down the stretch and their resilience down the stretch was was unique to watch them just rally around each other. It was just one of the things that. 
Um, you, you hope to see that, but you don't know because you're not, you've never been in that situation. So first overtime game in, the, in a situation we were in and um, they responded really well. So And the fact you've lost 27 years in a row in the region semis too and y'all over well, there's there's a game that specifically comes back to me and it took place at East Ridge against Tyner and and that one that one was that heave at the buzzer that goes in and we lose by one and that, yeah, that was the worst. Oh, it was a so, bank shot, wasn't it? Yes, and so yeah, from half court with, yeah. with three seconds to go. So that that memory of that continues to go. I'm like, oh man, please. So if that kid hits that step back, and I'm like, did he just hit a three to put him up one? But um, he had a two. We came back. We played a great overtime and, and sealed the deal. So we're excited. Man, and your point guard obviously played really well there in that stretch there. So. He's responded well. We, we challenged him after best of preps. And, uh, man, that kid is – he's playing. And, and he uh, he put us on his shoulders. And I think he scored the first five points in overtime. And, um, and he, he was big for us last night, big. So, Big South Dole, they barely beat Signal. So, we don't have the – Rematch Red Bank signal for the 14th time this year. So, I know, right? <laughs> probably have to work a little harder because uh, you know signal backwards and forwards. So try to right. bring South Dole a little bit. So yeah, that's that's all I've been doing all day is is pulling clips, film. We watched some film after school today of of kind of the things that they do and what we're gonna do and um, you know quick turnaround. So. Uh, we prepared today, a little lighter day, get some shots up, shoot free throws. I mean, good lord, that for you can't. It, it's hard to miss fourteen free throws in a tournament game and still win. So yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, we we shot a lot of those today and prepared. So we'll, we'll we're gonna give our best shot tomorrow. All and I no want one, is a Red Bank home substate game. Man, you. And That's me all I want. I will. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I mean, it only takes me two minutes to get there. <laughs> and no one has to tell you the importance of hosting that. I mean, yeah. Well, you look at that other other side, and and nobody. I mean, up, no one wants up, to play Upperman, right? No, not <laughs> at up, No, that's that's a, and they're and they're playing ball. I don't think they've lost a game since January fifth, is what I saw. So they're, they're always good. Well. Yeah, that community. Now who's the good. other team in that region final? Uh, Lawrence County, and they're twenty one and five. So they they beat Livingston, and then just beat uh, Tullahoma. Um, last night. So, I did a clinic. I did a clinic with the Lawrence County girls. Don't know much about the Lawrence County boys, Josh. They honest. didn't do a clinic. Yeah, uh, yeah. They ain't yeah, ready, I, I, guys. Man, I don't. Want I'm giving way. some of my credit to uh, Tommy Brown. Man, he's he's took us through two clinics, and we seem to be rolling. Well, that is awesome that you did the overtime thing, though, Tommy. Because <laughs> yeah. it is true. Like usually, when the team hits the shot, shot to send it to overtime, they end up winning it because they got that momentum. Yeah, it's like right. it's uncanny. And, you know, when you get it's the whole good philosophy, you know, things are going bad, everything, you know, you just got to, it's going to go bad. So you got to say, you got to say good. And uh, anyway, no, I, I will, Nick, coach, I will take credit, but I don't deserve any of it. So uh, you well, got I'll say this, Tommy, we've got your five, your five rules written on the board. They, they took it on themselves. They, they, they thumbtacked it at first and then they wrote them out on the board. So well, yeah, you've, yeah. you've done, you've done more than you think. I, I like your kids. I know that. I do a lot of these, and I really, I really like them. I like. The Tell way us they about speak. a couple of your guys that have stepped up. Um. Well, obviously, you know, our point guard uh, Jalen Rice has stepped up tremendously. Um, he he figured out that you know once we had that talk with him, we're going to have to have more contribute. Um, he's a junior, right? He is a junior. Um, don't you think sometimes that juniors they don't have the weight of the world on in these tournament games, and so no. Some, I, you gotta have a junior stand up, uh, step up, and. But I felt like uh, last year tournament time, um, you know, he was kind of thrown in the mix, and I felt like he kind of, I don't know, he felt a certain way after we kind of faltered there down the stretch, and and he kind of he made his point that that's not going to be him this year, so he stepped up. Um, Cam Kamarion Johnson, man, it's never going to show in the stat book, but. Uh, He's the kid we put on the best player night in and night out, and he takes it personal. Um, and he has been huge for us. I mean, like, he's a start in the lineup. He had a few threes here, there, a few jumpers here and there. But the, from the defensive end, what number is he? Number four. That's right. Um, he's he stepped up. Um, you know, obviously Malik's Malik. You know, Malik does Malik things. Um, 
But uh, DJ uh, Wilbur is a sophomore. Um, you That's know, a little he, one, right? Yeah, he comes in. That kid. And he co- he's come in the past few games and he has some, uh, especially Saudi, he comes down. I think he hit three back to back to back three. So he's a kid that spaces the floor. He's got a high IQ. So he's getting some good experience right now as a sophomore. Um, and then Landon Crutcher is a senior that comes off the bench who's been just really big for us. Hits the mid range. Um, he's the type of kid he likes coming off the bench. He sits there on the bench and he he literally takes everything, breaks it down, and then he goes in <clears throat> and provides that spark and that difference that he's seeing from the bench. He embraces it. It's it's pretty unique to watch. So those guys have really stepped up, and obviously Anthony and Kendrick are doing Anthony and Kendrick things. So they've been huge for us as well. Man, I am a. Uh... I'm a Red Bank fan, Josh. I know that. And I love how hard they play defensively. Yeah. And that's obviously the key, Coach, right? I mean, you got to – I imagine South Dole hadn't seen the kind of pressure they're going to see tomorrow night, at least I hope. And uh, that's obviously a key. A team's got to try to slow you all down, right? So how do you combat that? And Because you know defense is everything for you guys. So Yeah, yeah. We And, and if you saw, you know, the district tournament – you know, all those scores, I felt those scores were wopsided. Like, we came out with a with a purpose. And, and you know, I say, uh, you know, an old coach that used to coach with me used to always say chance favors the aggressors. Um, mm-hmm. So, we've kind of used that going forward and, and want to be the, first, the team that throws the first punch and, and be the aggressor. Um, and uh, we did that. And then, you know, first round of region. And then last night, I mean, I'm going to tell you, those, that, that Coach Flatford over at Heritage, Man, he does a really good job with his guys. They were very poised in the press. They caught it. They they took their time. So the press didn't affect them as much. But I do feel like us playing man a whole game and constantly coming, 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 I think it just wears on teams. Um, his press is – even though maybe you seem poised and even though maybe you, you know, you you don't turn it over, it's still stressful, you know. Oh, I, absolutely. I mean, you know, I think in the back of their minds, and they would tell you that – um this game was just big because they they wanted to get over that hump. They wanted to make sure we they could leave Red Bank at a point where, hey, you know, y'all may have not caught across the semifinals, but we're getting you all there this year. And um, and that Heritage team, like I said, they're well coached. I mean, they got they shoot the ball well, um, and they're all underclassmen. He's got them all coming back next year, so he he does a great job with them. It was two good teams battling. Um, somebody had to lose, and and. Fortunately, we 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 did what we needed to do, but defensively, yeah, that's that's our calling card. You no, know, we're yeah. we're coming at you. There's no there's no sugarcoating, and that's just how we play. That's how we got to do things. Um, and our guys embrace it and they love it. So that's Coach, always a good place to be I'm when sorry. your guys love it like that. When they it grieves them when when the other team scores, you got a good thing going. And and what was unique last night is is I get done, I start posting South Doyle film on Huddle because we try not to look ahead, even though it's hard right now down their stretch. And Anthony and Landon and those guys are texting, well, coach, if we run this, it might counter that. And, and so-and-so, his tendencies are this. So he likes to sh- – they're already breaking down film before I can get on and break it down. And that's just the type of kids I've got. And I'm, I'm spoiled this year because next year I'm going to expect the same stuff, and, you know. But that, that's what they're doing. They're, they're already breaking down film. And, and – what do you say? You know, you go in and they've already got a game plan ready before you got one ready. Yeah, that's awesome. That's when you're in a good Coach, spot. Another great compliment. Uh, I was talking to Chris Kennedy's dad today, and uh, he was talking about just how good a kid you, you guys are. And that, we're talking about Signal Mountain, really good player. And Signal Mountain and Red Bank, I mean, obviously that's a big rivalry. And to have someone like that talk about your kids being such good kids. And then he said – he said Anthony Bonner will walk across the gym every time, you know, just shake his hand. I mean, that's a, I mean, that's even that's such a class act. What a great kid that kid is. And he is a powerful he man. Is. Uh and so, you know, it's in credit to you too for, you know, having classy kids. And uh, I appreciate that, man. I no, and that's coming from your biggest competitor too. Isn't that powerful, Josh? I mean, that's yeah, and amazing. Gary and Antoine, all, the whole the whole Red Bank bench over there. Yeah, and, I, and I know it, it does. It sounds cliche. You know, you, you want to win games. And believe me, I'm I'm still on a high, but we, we're turning tomorrow. But, I, you know, I, I really feel like this group of dudes have, have not – they've made me a better coach, but I feel like they've made me a better person. Like, And I say that 
wholeheartedly and convincingly. That they've they've helped kind of I don't want to say change my coaching, but help me understand that hey, you've put something in place. It is our responsibility to help carry it on, and it has been yeah. really really cool to watch. That's one of the best things when you can just kind of let go and teach. Right. You know what I mean? And I think that's the hardest thing as a coach, though. You know, like yeah. early on, like you, you got pride and you want to micromanage. But you, you, like you just said, when you see it and you're like, you know yeah. what? You guys have got this. What, got why, this. Why, am I, why am I over here fretting for? Yeah, <laughs> no doubt. Well, Coach, man, we'll let you get back to that film. And, uh, you know, we'll be watching and wish you the best. And, uh, you know, you're playing Monday regardless, but we hope it's at home. No, oh yeah. man, uh, we do too. We we've left the chairs and the and the table and everything out since the district tournament. Sweet. Right? It's kind of one of those things where <laughs> that's it, beautiful. You know, so we're we're, we're hoping we're there. Um, but of course we got to handle our business tomorrow, and we're going to go in with confidence and and do what we do. So, no doubt. So, well, Coach Brother, congrats on the great year. And uh, if we uh, you head to Murfreesboro, maybe we'll try to do this again. And, and absolutely, uh, man. So, uh, appreciate uh, you guys. Man. Go Lions. Go yes, sir. Thanks, Josh. Thank, Good to thanks, see you, guys. Nick. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate, appreciate you, all. Nick. Take care, brother. Uh, you too. Bye. Right. So, Josh, real quick as we finish up, let's talk about who's left in the area. We obviously we have Tyner and Brainerd rematch, right? Oh, man. Yeah, we've got uh, Walker Valley Bradley rematch tomorrow night for the region final. Then we've got, uh, uh, obviously, Chat Prep still rolling. And... um that's it, right? Who'd we miss? So, Sail Creek Walker lost Valley, last Bradley night. Bradley Baylor. No, Baylor's lost. Baylor's they lost. lost. They lost to uh, Pope John Paul. So I did not see that score. Yeah, they lost. So oh, wow. uh, Christian Heritage lost. They're done. Um, so uh, Walker I, Valley, Bradley, Tyner, Brainerd, Brainerd Silverdale, Red Bank. Red Bank, Chat Prep, Chat Prep, seven. I think hey, we're looking pretty good on our top 10. Our our top 10 did really well. Top 10 was yeah. still still kicking, still going. Yeah, we did well there. And I think I do think Chet Prep and uh Silverdale both have excellent chances. Of yeah. It. I mean, I, I guess you could count Red Bank in there. They probably got a shot too to bring home that three A. And okay. Tyner. Are they two A? Is Tyner two A? Tyner's two, yeah. Tyner's two yeah. A. They got it though. They'll, they'll, upper they'll upper have a shot. Good. At it. Yeah, Upperman's really good. And, um, you know, the 4A, it's going to be tough for uh, – I think the Bradley-Walker Valley winner's got a great shot at going to state. However, you know, you go on the road, that's going to be tough. Yeah, I, I tell you, I didn't tell you that uh, Upperman was the team that put me out at Tennessee Tech. Oh, my goodness. So, hey, uh, <laughs> I want to have a uh, Grundy of the Year award, Blake. For the player of the year, but we're going to call him the Grundy of the year. And so I want to do some nominations and those kind of things. So I want to maybe try to figure out how to get the vote out there and everything. I think that'll yeah. be so. Let's make a little Facebook a lot post of, and let people nominate. Yeah, yeah. A lot of uh, teams had good years. Obviously, they're finished up. You know, you got Boyd had a great year. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, obviously Baylor uh, had a really good season and. Um, so, you know, a lot of, a lot of team, Christian heritage too, really good season as well. So, uh, at the one, a level sail Creek, uh, play McMinn central made it to the region semis. They played well, got barely beat by Tyner last night. They played Tyner tough. That's the dude that comes on the podcast sometimes. That's daily. Yeah. He yeah, came yeah. on and they played, they played. Uh, Tyner I hate to see tough. him. I hate to see him out. Yeah. He, uh, yeah, we may need to get him to be commentate the state tournament. That'd be fun. So, yes. Well, thanks for, being here, Josh, won't you wrap us up and uh, hopefully, uh, hey, five stuff, right? Subscribe, yes. subscribe, subscribe, like it, and uh, we'll see you soon. And if you don't have anything nice to say, keep it to yourself. That's my brother right there. <laughs> Later, <laughs> buddy.